incessant attacks against Ukraine's cyborg defenders at Donetsk airport continue with Kremlin-backed insurgents using tanks and heavy artillery to attack across the length of the Minsk armistice line in a brazen attempt to seize more Ukrainian land. An army map of the conflict zone published Saturday illustrated some of the scores of attacks reported against Ukrainian defences. Ukraine's army spokesman Andrei Lysenko said Donetsk airport remained under Ukrainian control. The situation at Donetsk airport is really difficult. Russian-backed insurgents shell the airport and make attempts to attack. Commanders understand the situation and more soldiers come to help. They also try to send more ammunition to the cyborgs, who now control the airport. They also provide food and medicine for the injured soldiers. The situation is still under the control of Ukraine. However, the insurgents keep on attacking and trying to capture the strategic object. The so-called road of life had earlier been cut off by Russian forces, leaving around a dozen cyborg troops surrounded. And these are the so-called cyborgs, making the last stand. Seen here in mugshots posted to social media, ordinary men harking from cities, towns and villages across Ukraine. Through Saturday, some reported in desperate messages published online that they believed the end had come, as they were surrounded by their enemies from all sides. But thanks to heavy return shelling, army officials claimed to have established a new so-called road of life to re-establish a corridor to the soldiers. Across the combat zone, at least seven soldiers were reported killed in the last 72 hours. Yeah.